I think it's a good thing. I've said all along I thought it would be upheld in the court. I didn't write the plan. The legislature did. Um, but we had our attorneys look through it before we signed it, and it very clearly upheld all the criteria that the, the courts have done in previous years, or previous decades, I should say, uh, when the, uh, the legislature was split. Um, you know, one person, one vote, uh, the principles of community of interest, ensuring minority voting rights, all those things are protected in the plan that was passed by the Assembly and the Senate and that I signed into law, and I believe in the end the United States Supreme Court will uphold it. Woefully ignorant argument on their part. Uh, the majority of Democrat votes overwhelmingly are in large urban areas uh, where they pick up big margins. You look in many districts in the city of Milwaukee and Madison, they win by extraordinary margins. I don't care how you draw the maps there, they're always going to win by big margins there. You get outside of Madison or Milwaukee and it's much more competitive across the state. The reason their argument is invalid is because that argument would work for one time, but the maps uh, were in place and Republicans gained seats in 12, 14, and 16. If your argument is the maps are unfair, it should only happen once. The reason they won and they've added seats in the legislature is because common sense conservative reforms work. And uh, the more people saw they worked, the more candidates who clung to those issues and made those cases did well in those districts.